Welcome to part three of my tutorial on layers and in this installment we're going to be having a look at colors and this is also like with the other issues of layers something which can be quite confusing because of the legacy it does have. First of all we're going to open up the layer manager and uh, take a look at the little color option over here. So for example the doors layer inside this drawing if I click on the little color block it takes me through to some palettes where I can choose a color to assign to that layer and you'll notice up at the top of your screen you have index color you have true colors and you also have color books now I'll just explain the difference between all of these these options have been available on the full version of AutoCAD for a number of years now on LT they've only been available for a few years so <coughs> you may not be familiar with them if you've been an LT user before. Now before I go into any more detail on these I'm going to actually come out of the layer manager and go through to the plot screen to explain about plot style tables. Now when you come to printer drawing Besides needing to choose your printer and your paper size, you will also have a choice of choosing something called a plot style table. Now you'll also hear of these referred to as CTB files or perhaps pen weight assignments or plot style tables. Now if I click on this button on the right hand side here, you can see that the monochrome CTB file is current. If I click on the right hand side, it takes me through to the settings for the CTB file which is a configuration file. Now in here AutoCAD is instructed as to how to print out each of these colors. So color 1 for example red is going to print out in black. Color 2 will also print out in black and in fact on this monochrome CTB file all of the colors on the index tab have been set to print out in black. Now you may work in an office where they have a customized CTB file and this is particularly common in architecture just because of the legacy and how it's been used. Now in that case if you do have a customized CTB file in your office it may be the case that not only are these index colors set to print in black but they will also have default line weights assigned to them as well. So for example color 1 could be programmed to print in black but also then set to print at a line weight of perhaps something like 0.1. Color 2 may be set as something else. And these are settings which should be explained to you by your CAD manager in your office if your office does have a specific customized CTB file. Now what you will find in all copies of AutoCAD is that you will have this monochrome file. Now just because of the version I'm using I do have some other options here but you will always find that monochrome is available. So just bear that in mind. I'm going to cancel out of here and go back to the layer manager. Back to choosing my colors here. So we know that if I print out my drawing using the monochrome CTB file, all of these index colors, although they appear in color on screen, will print out in black. True colors these are represented as an RGB, so just a combination of red, green, and blue. These will print out as a real color when using the monochrome CTB file. So if I choose that color, for example, and click OK, you can see it's quite clearly a true color because it's got this RGB combination. And then lastly, we have color books. Quite specific, probably only really going to be used by people who really need to specify a specific color like interior designers and these are Pantones, RELs, different kinds of color books that specialists would know about. Choosing that Pantone you can see it comes up as that specific Pantone color. I'm going to take it back to an index color here, the one that it was originally. Now when I come to print out my drawing, my intention is that this drawing is going to print in black and white. So all of the colors that I've chosen for my layers are on the index color palette. 
me run a print preview and you can see here that the drawing is previewing in black you can also see that the line weights are being reflected the line weights that I chose for each of the layers Now as an example of color, I have some trees on this site plan here and I would like those to print in green. Just find the vegetation layer. Click on the color and instead of leaving it on the index color, I'm going to go through to true color. You're able to use the slider at the side here just to select a suitable color. Now you can see it's changed to an RGB or a true color and this time when I run my print preview the trees come out in green so using a true color or one of the colors from the color books will enable you to add some color to your drawing so just to recap here when choosing colors you have a choice of index you have true colors or color books and by using a combination of them gives you the opportunity to combine a black and white drawing with color on top of that.